So back in 1994, a movie called Interview with a Vampire, starring Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise and Antonio Banderas came out. It's actually a very good movie, in my opinion. It's one of the few vampire movies that doesn't glamorize being a vampire. Uh, they are miserable and lonely with their immortality. It's it, it, it would turn you off to being a vampire, basically. Unlike, you know, movies like Twilight, where they make it look great to be immortal. Let's be honest, being immortal would probably kind of suck, because you see everybody around you die, and you keep on living. It's a good movie, um, but they're remaking it. AMC is remaking it into a television series. Now, there's a reason that I have Brad Pitt pulled up here. Uh, he plays the character Lewis, who's now being played by Jacob Anderson. You would best know him from Game of Thrones. He played leader of the Unsullied. He's actually a fine actor. That's not the problem. The problem is that they're making changes, not only to the movie, because the movie's based on the book. The book is where they're making changes. So here's uh, Lewis's description from when he was a mortal. Uh, he was born in France. On October the 4th, 1966, to a Roman Catholic family who immigrated to North America. When he was very young, his mother, sister, and brother Paul live just outside New Orleans in one of their two plantations. Lewis's brother, who insists that he has religious visions, dies after a terrible quarrel with Lewis. Lewis blames himself for his brother's death, becoming self-destructive, cynical, and desperate. He longs for the release of death, but lacks the courage to end himself. He takes to freak, frequenting taverns and other places, instigating fights and duels in order to have someone take him out, basically. He's a very depressed fellow. Um, what's the notable thing they're changing here? So he's no longer a white plantation owner. Uh, he is now going to own several brothels so basically he's a black pimp <laughs> oh wait you serious let me laugh even harder <laughs> talk about perpetuating stereotypes <laughs> it's funny you know they basically want to avoid the slavery stuff basically is what they're doing because he did even in the movie he had he had them and he had his plantation he ends up setting them all free the movie is pretty good, but I know what this I know what this series is going to do. It's going to make a lot of changes and it's going to heavily heavily play on the LGBTQ+ scenes that were in the movie and probably in the book. I haven't read the book, uh, but they're going to take those and that's going to be at the forefront. And it's probably going to lose a lot of the stuff that made the movie so good, like, you know, not glamorizing being a, a vampire. I just, this is going to be an absolute train wreck. And it's a really good example of when you shouldn't, like, race swap a character. I, I try to be a little bit more lenient on that than some other creators, because if if I let it, hang me up every time a new movie or show came out, I would never be able to enjoy anything. When when you shouldn't do it is when it comes to the context of, char of the character. Like Batman, for example, right? Comes from old British money. A white guy needs to play Bruce Wayne because of that. The, the Wayne family comes from old British money, right? It wouldn't make sense to swap him out. It wouldn't make sense to have a black Bruce Wayne at all. Uh, who he is matters to the character. And I would say it matters the same to Louis. Like he's from France and he owns a bunch of plantations. But hey, we're just going to change it and make it so that he's a black pimp. Like what? Who, who came up with this idea? So it's basically going to be a black pimp who comes out as a vampire and the undertones that were in Interview with a Vampire those aren't going to be there anymore. Now it's going to be full-on vampire banging. I guarantee it. 
And that doesn't sound interesting at all. Like the movie did a great job of playing with that stuff and it worked. Uh, This is going to be a train wreck disaster by the current talent. And I say that with finger quotes of Hollywood where they'll just mess it up because they don't even understand what they're doing with Lewis on a, on a basic level. Tug actually breaks it down pretty good right here. AMC changed Lewis's background in interview with a vampire. He's gone from running a plantation to owning brothels. Apparently, it's wrong to show slave ownership now unless they're women and it's sexual slavery, according to AMC. So woke, lol. And that's 100% true. And they don't even get that they're doing that. So this show's going to be a train wreck. Just another remake that nobody asked for. They're just trying to chump, like jump on teen vampire drama. And that's exactly what they're going to do with this show. It's going to be a it's going to be some kind of twilight mold of what we had before. So uh, my suggestion, go watch the original and skip the show. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.